Nepal has always been the sanctuary for Tibetans fleeing from China. But since 2008, the Tibetan refugee community has been coming under increasing pressure. In 2008, there were uprisings in Tibet. And in solidarity with that, Tibetan exiles and refugees in Nepal staged protests at the same time. ね、the Nepali government, in response to pressure from China, cracked down very hard on the Tibetan protesters. There were many, many casualties, many people were hospitalized, and since then there has been an ongoing crackdown and a repression against any further protests or assembly of any kind. The Nepali government is cracking down on Tibetans for a number of complicated reasons. China, as a close neighbor, has historically been a tremendous provider of aid, both in terms of development, in infrastructure needs, and investment. And it's very difficult for a very small, landlocked, poor country like Nepal to say no in any way to the pressures that come from a regional giant like China. <laughs> Jahani, a lot of Tibetans in exile in Nepal live in refugee camps. The larger number of Tibetans in Nepal today are stateless. They're having trouble getting proper papers, access to refugee status has been denied, and identity papers have been denied. <laughs> Without these documents, they have no way to prove who they are, where they're born, and that in turn deprives them of further benefits in terms of education, in terms of jobs, in terms of their capacity to move to own property. There is certainly a perception that Chinese intelligence presence, both in Kathmandu and throughout the country, has increased over the last few years. We are seeing CCTV cameras around Buddhist communities, increased police surveillance, increased armed police surveillance of these areas, and increased presence of security in these areas leading up to and after, for instance, the Dalai Lama's birthday or the Tibetan New Year. <laughs>
the Nepali government should allow the Tibetan population to express themselves freely, to express themselves politically, religiously, and it should issue refugee papers and identity documents to Tibetans.